Hello everyone welcomes to my sister wives today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives, 8 Reasons Robin Brown, Not Cody, Is Undermining Her Marriage Robin Brown is the one undermining their marriage, despite the fact that Sister Wives founder Cody Brown receives a lot of flack for ending three of his marriages. Since Cody's three previous spouses filed for divorce over the previous few years, Robin is his fourth and last wife. Season 1 of 2010 saw Robin and her three children from her previous marriage join the Brown household. Cody was already married to his first three wives at the time, and the entire family shared a large Utah house under one roof. Cody would move from wing to wing in the house, which was built by a polygamist for a polygamous family. Each wife had a distinct wing with a kitchen of her own. Everything changed when Robin and her kids joined the household. Cody went out of Utah and into four different homes with his four women and the 18 children of the Brown family. Things became much more complicated and Cody began to see specific family members less and less since he had to drive from house to house. Following the COVID-19 pandemic, the family disintegrated and Cody's first three wives, Christine Brown, Janelle Brown, and Mary Brown, quickly left him. Given that Robin and Cody have settled into a monogamous relationship, there are indications that Robin is attempting to undermine their union. Though there has been much conjecture, the truth is more nuanced than that. Robin may not have wanted Cody to herself. Robin was very explicit about her desire for multiple marriages. The Sister Wives season 18 star has never shied away from admitting that the Brown family dynamic played a significant role in her falling in love with Cody. Robin desired for her children to be a part of the close-knit family since she enjoyed it. Robin met Cody and his family after raising her three children alone for a number of years. Robin is not interested in being Cody's only wife and supports the idea of several marriages. It makes sense that Robin would seek to ruin the marriage by continuously whining to Cody about it, given that Cody has no plans to take another woman into the family. Robin is always complaining to Cody about how she feels like the other wives and Cody. She seems to be attempting to push him away. Over the years, Cody ignored his first three wives in favor of Robin, but he also disregarded his other children in favor of Robin's. That was never more apparent than when Cody completely ceased seeing his elder children during the COVID-19 outbreak. In order to protect his children, the patriarch of sister wives requested that he stay away from his older children with Robin, who played the victim throughout. Cody got into arguments with his elder children, including his late son Garrison Brown, 25, who tragically died in March, as a result of the ensuing resentments. Despite all that had happened, Robin didn't even bring her kids to Garrison's memorial since she believed that she was the true victim of the tale. Although Robin asserts that she joined the Brown family in order to live in a plural family, Robin has gradually driven Cody's previous wives away. Whether Robin wanted Cody all to herself or not, she got what she wanted, and perhaps it's not as good as it seems. Cody is a highly sensitive individual who requires a great deal of care. Not even four women and eighteen children could provide Cody with the amount of attention he required. Robin is now forced to take care of Cody by herself and she might miss the network of people that supported her prior to Christine, Janelle, and Mary leaving. Despite their issues, she might have preferred it than spending time with Cody by herself. It will be interesting to watch how Cody and Robin manage being in a committed relationship as Sister Wives Season 19 approaches. Robin's opinions on polygamy are based on her early expectations following her encounter with the Brown family, she was not raised in a polygamous home. It's critical to remember that the Browns were a large, content family during Sister Wives' original run. The healthy group looked just like a well-functioning polygamous family and had nothing in common with the terrifying stereotypes of severe polygamous cults. Mary, Cody's first wife, felt obligated to add Robin to the family as a fourth wife since she had first met her. Given that the Browns were a lively, good-time family at the time, Robin's desire for that for her children and herself makes sense. Sadly, Robin's ideal would soon be dashed as Cody blew up his family. Robin and Mary were great friends from the moment they first met. Robin was Cody's favorite wife, but Mary was by far his least favorite, thus things were usually a little awkward between the two women. 
Robin frequently made things worse even though she wanted Cody and Mary's relationship to get better. Following Robin's adoption into the family, she would mediate disputes between Cody and her sister wives, Mary included, while occasionally inciting hostility. Mary's prolonged stay in the marriage was a result of Robin's persistent interference. Robin would cry and stress out every time Mary tried to leave, which only served to prolong a marriage that Cody had long since had enough of. Robin may be intentionally undermining the marriage since she is aware that she would be entitled to half of Cody's possessions. Cody was lawfully wed to Mary, his first wife, at the time of the 2010 Sister Wives debut. Cody now claims he regrets getting married. He was in a complex poly family at the time, spiritually married to both Janelle and Christine. Robin married Cody spiritually when she joined the family, but as polygamy is illegal, their union was not recognized as legal. With tears in her eyes, Mary signed the divorce papers, wanting to be a nice sister wife, and Cody legally married Robin, to whom he is still legally married. In contrast to Mary, Janelle, and Christine, Robin would be qualified to receive spousal and child support in the event of a Cody divorce. The Browns were placed under quarantine in four different homes during COVID-19, and Cody would visit each family alternately. The already damaged family decided to finally get together for Ariella Brown's fifth birthday because of the separation. They all exercised caution, complied with the CDC's guidelines, and diligently tested beforehand. During Sister Wife Season 16, there was a birthday celebration, and it seems like a lot of fun was had by all. The unstable family appeared to have turned the corner and was about to get back together for a brief while. A few days later, though, Robin got in touch with everyone and claimed that her nanny was to blame for her unintentional exposure to the virus. That was the last time the Brown family came together since Cody and Robin didn't want to take the chance of another exposure. Many have since theorized that Cody and Robin didn't want to spend time with the Brown family and that the pandemic was a fantastic reason to keep social distance and that the nanny never exposed the Browns to COVID-19. The nanny gate incident was the last straw for the family, and they were never able to get past it. It's quite probable that Robin intentionally or unintentionally destroyed the family. After everything that happened to the Brown family since Robin and her children joined them, it's understandable that Robin would be harboring deep-seated guilt about her part in it. When she came into the picture, they were a smiling, happy-go-lucky unit who seemed to be deeply in love. Though it's likely subconscious on her part, Robin may be so riddled with guilt that she's sabotaging a marriage she doesn't feel she deserves. Considering Robin has become IA villain in the eyes of so many, some would argue that, by being stuck with Cody, Robin is getting what she deserves. With Sister Wife Season 19 on the horizon, Cody and Robin will decide if they want to continue being in their accidentally monogamous marriage.